Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Gamers Edition. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and looking at my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. Uh, now, I know the Watch 6 Classic is soon to be released, uh, approximately in about a week from recording this video. Uh, so I figured I'd give the Watch 4 Classic a try before purchasing the Watch 6 to see whether or not I like it. Now, by the way, there has been three attempts of this video, but all three attempts have failed uh, due to issues with the camera, the microphone. So yes, it's already been unboxed, but doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's get on with the video. So unboxing it, you just lift it up. We have the watch right in front of us, which because of the failed attempts is already set up. So we'll just put that to one side and show you what comes in the box. So we have uh, this portion that be at the top of the box, which houses the papers, warranty guide, etc instruction manuals and on the other side we have the charger which is just a lead with no brick so let's put these to the side and here's the watch let me just give it a quick polish and we'll show you guys the design so this is the 46 millimeter with the black silicone strap there we are and I'm not too big of a fan of this uh, strap because the first time I put it on it's already left if I can get the camera to focus, it's already left a mark here. Come on, camera. Okay, it doesn't want to focus, but there is the mark. And here's a look at the watch itself. So there's the rotating bezel. And yeah, let's move on to looking at the actual watch itself. So on your left hand side you've got your notifications move on to the right hand side you've got your fitness tracking uh, fitness uh, preset workouts and if you click more you can see a lot more of the presets and you can also add another workout to this you've also got sleep tracking weather date time ecg heart rate uh, stress monitoring and you can set your alarm clock from the watch and it'll automatically send it to the phone You've also got tiles where you can add some more widgets to your watch screen. And once we get to the bottom, you'll see there's some WhatsApp widgets. So whilst I was setting this watch up, I was able to download the latest version of the watchOS software, which was watchOS 4 with Samsung's 5.0 One UI skin on top. So let me just give you guys a look at that. And by doing that, there's a lot more third party apps which are supported. Uh, which are supported a lot better for example uh, previously on the watch 4 watch 5 the there was whatsapp however the whatsapp was the beta version now with the watch let's see so there you can see 5.0 wear os 4.0 so now with wear os 4.0 you've got the legitimate version of whatsapp which is made to run on these wear os watches and yes, whilst browsing through the Google Play Store, I was able to find the Watch 6 Classic wallpaper. Okay, so swiping up from the bottom, you you open up your app drawer, and if you have any, uh, if you have a few apps on your phone which are compatible with the watch, they'll download automatically, such as Google Messages. I use Google Messages, not the Samsung SMS one, and I also have WhatsApp, and it pre-installed WhatsApp for me. Uh, with Samsung internet and the Google Assistant because I use all four of those apps on my mobile device It transferred the watch versions onto the watch Well, it downloaded the watch versions and there you can see the standard SMS one which I prefer not to use Okay, so this is gonna be a short video guys. So now it's time for my impressions of the watch for classic so the version I have here is the 46mm one and from wearing it for a few uh, for a few hours I've not been able to test it for any longer than that since I've just got it. Uh, so for from wearing it for a few hours it's pretty comfortable to wear. Compared to the Watch 4 and Watch 5, the normal ones, you can tell it's got a bit extra heft. It's a little bit more heavier compared to those watches, as it should be because it is a lot thicker and it does have that extra rotating bezel which is on top. And I think the battery compared to the Watch 4 is slightly bigger on this version. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you like what we do around here, consider dropping a like and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.